Hi guys, welcome back to the BMW Guy channel and today we are not doing the 87 we're taking a look at the 2017 Golf GTE um, so this is the Mark 7.5 GTE and it's sort of the overall best generation yet um, the first one was the one before this, the Mark 7 um, it was greatly improved upon with this Mark 7.5 that came out um, with stuff like the uh, virtual cockpit etc um, this is the GT Advanced just in case there are any options on there that you don't recognize if you've got one or you're looking at them um, so all the op all the options on this car are sort of subject to spec um, but yeah so what I'm going to talk about today guys is the reliability of this car um, so we've had it two years and um, collected it on September the 1st 2017 and in those two years this car has done 62,000 miles it's used a bit as a used for commuting daily um, purely because it's a company car um, and it's a hybrid which meant we could save a hell of a lot of money on tax and still have a nice decent fast car um, to run around in so um, yeah so far this car has been fairly trouble free um, yeah, we have had a few major issues that I'm going to go through um, but in terms of reliability of the hybrid system it's been excellent um, at the moment due to its long journeys and that sort of thing the hybrid system isn't as working as efficiently as it could be um, and that's more of a user error than anything really so we're currently getting about 40 mpg um, from this car uh, but that's pretty much using the 1.4 tsi engine um, as the main source of propulsion and um, allowing the hybrid electric system to be more of a performance booster than anything really um, so yeah, let's get into the problems. Um, it was all going fairly well um, until this car had a infotainment head unit failure. Um, and this has the latest Volkswagen one, as you can see. Um, actually, I haven't got the keys on me, as I'll show you inside. But um, yeah, it's got the latest Volkswagen system and um, it actually failed completely. Uh, and because it's the GTE special one, um, it meant that there was none in the country um, there's no replacement units in the country um, and also um, why they why they were fixing it they also broke another ECU within the car which um, also conveniently wasn't in the country none of the parts in the country um, and also Germany Volkswagen didn't have any of the parts so it was quite a long wait driving um, higher cars and that sort of thing but um, yeah eventually that was fixed um, and then we had a turbo wastegate sensor failure um, in the fast lane of the M40 which wasn't great um, because we suddenly went from about just over 220 brake horsepower to about 12 it felt like um, so yeah that was that's another thing that went wrong but that was in the garage again all under warranty and it was fixed by Volkswagen fairly quickly and um, then finally we had a, an issue where the windscreen wiper um windscreen washers were actually frozen um we went to use the um washers anyway because we obviously we didn't realize they were frozen it was quite a cold day and the car had been running a fair while um and because they were frozen it actually shorted out and tripped all of the electrics within the car um which obviously isn't great if the car has a virtual cockpit um, which meant which is the digital dials which meant we didn't have any sort of readout on speed or anything like that um, so it was quite an issue really with the resort to using the speedometer on Waze on our phone but um, yeah apart from that it's all been fairly decent the GT platform itself has not been the issue it's more been general Volkswagen parts um, so I suppose you could argue that that's that's a pass it shouldn't put you off um, buying one of these as a used vehicle because obviously it's not the hybrid system itself that's causing the issues um, and these vehicles do have the potential of doing well over 70 miles per gallon um, once they're properly used um, used with the charging etc but um, yes yeah, so it's a quick overview on the reliability while we've had this car and um, thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you've got anything that you'd like to say about this car whether you own them be really interested to find out about how your guys ownerships have been 
of these um, because these have actually been cancelled now um, until the new Mark 8 generation comes out which would be quite interesting um, I've got an interesting video coming up as to explain why that was or my theory is why it was anyway um, which has sort of been corroborated by several other sources um, but yeah you have to wait for that one thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one cheers